Mods and Customs back with another video. I don't think I've mentioned it before, but um, it really helps if you like and subscribe to the channel. Today we're doing a knock sensor relocation. So the previous knock sensor location was underneath in this valley here. Still got the old valley plate in there, but you can see that that big hole there. Had a big bung in there with the knock sensors down inside the valley. Um, bought the knock sensor relocation kit. Uh, they look like this. Um, these are the blocks. Uh, I bought it off eBay, I think. I think it was Performance Warehouse. I don't know exactly what they are. They've got like a, they got like a little um, bird, Roadrunner type bird on their topic, on their picture. So to do this, the exhaust or the catalytic converter pipe is normally up here, so it's a bit very difficult to do in the car. I see a lot of people just get the knock sensors, which for those that don't know what they are, look like this. There's a knock sensor. Um, it's got a new wiring harness on it. And people screw them into these locations. Um, if you look up under here, this looks like a um, engine mount location. Excuse all the oil and grease on the, on the engine. It's um, Again, it's just getting knocked up at the moment, ready for the full build. Um, so this kit I bought came with no instructions. So I looked up ICT billet. They have some good instructions. Um, they talk about a block being up underneath here that um, you have to drill out the hole from a smaller size hole to a bigger hole to suit the bracket bolt. Um, as you can see, I can't get to that because my engine mount block, the aluminium block for the engine mount is right there, and my alternator bracket is right there. So I have to improvise. Um, a lot of people screw in here, like I said, but you screw it in here and you get a lot of detonation sound from cylinders firing. Um, a lot of people screw in the top up here too, which is a big no-no. Um, you can see how close that is to the to the exhaust manifold. Or exhaust headers. Imagine the heat that knock sensor would get. Wouldn't last very long. The correct location is one of these blocks down here. You can drill them. I can't get the one up under there, like I said. So I drilled out this one just here. Um, it doesn't screw directly in there. What happens is this block has a shoulder on it. The shoulder goes up underneath, up underneath here, and your bolt goes in and it mounts the block underneath there. And then it gives you one, two, three, four different holes five different holes to screw your knock sensor into. Uh, what I'll do is, oh sorry, that's on this side. You have to drill this side, which is the um, which is the passenger side in Australia, driver's side in the US. On the, on the opposite side, you see this block up underneath here? Let's see if you can see that block there. It has a hole straight through it, and the opposite knock sensor block has this little boss with a threaded hole in it. So this block goes up underneath here on this side. And it, it oops, you don't drop it because it's billet and you want to try and keep it nice, but um, it fits up in that hole there and it locates it really well. And then you bolt it in from the top and they, and they supply with the bolts as well. So what I'll do is I'll mount them and then I'll show you what it's like once I screw the knock sensors in. Give me five minutes, I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, there's the block up inside there, right there. Um, here's my knock sensor, they come with a little protective thread protector on. So I'll be running these ones at the back, like this, so they don't sort of get directly exposed to water hitting them head on. Um, you screw them in like that and then you tighten them up. That's on the driver's side, so you can see it's behind my air conditioning pump just behind the engine mount. Really easy to put the sensor in, but it's really difficult to get. You can see here, I use my ratchet ringy in there, and you can see a bit of a mark on the back there. It got stuck on the back of the block, and I have to kind of beat on it to get it out. On the passenger side, same. It has all these locations that you can Excuse the shaky camera, I'm just trying to swap hands. All these different locations, so you can see it has 
to this position here, which is what I'm going to run like that bit on the other side. It's well away from the exhaust. It has them in the top. It has ports in the bottom. So if you want to screw them in and have them facing down like that, you can. So there are lots of options. There's one there. There's some in the top. There's one here somewhere as well. You can screw it in there. There's also one in the front. You can screw it in the front if you want it really out of the way. But I don't really want it that way because it kind of seems to me like water will just splash straight into it. This seems the most logical location to me. Screw it in. And then the harness, which has these push clips on them. You can see inside it there, it has, um, where is the, where's the camera there? It has the pin inside it there. What you do is you put it on and you squeeze the side of it, which opens it up and the connector goes on there. So not sure where my loom will go from here. This plug will probably hit straight up the top here somewhere. Because the knock sensor plug is right, they're right here. So, and again, I'm not sure if it's green or blue, which side it goes to, um, left or right. So, um, I'll work that out and plug it in. So, hopefully, you enjoyed that little video. Um, I'll take that back out again. I'll take that off. So, some of the issues I had with drilling this here was, you can see here, I had to take the exhaust manifold bolt out. Um, the stud out. And here's the stud here. So it's normally screwed in, in there like that. But if you look, it was right in line with where I was going to drill the hole. So right there, that's where I had to drill the hole in the block for the take bolt. So remove the stud, straight line of sight to the to the, to the little block. The little block looked like that, but there's one right there. There's another one back up behind there. I guess you can choose whichever one you want. Um, my option of putting it behind that mount was non-existent. So. Anyway, that's it now, so when I finish running all the injection and stuff on top of this thing, um, I'll, I'll run my new manifold valley plate then, I'll get rid of the ones with the holes in it so I don't take any water in there, it'll look a bit flashier. So yeah, that's, um, that's it for today. Like I mentioned before, if you like the video, hit the like. If you want to see more of it, if you like the information I'm providing, um, hit subscribe. Um, or hit notifications if you want to get notified when when new videos are up. Which at the moment I got that much on probably a couple of weeks ago and up, so hopefully I don't flood with new stuff. Thanks and see you on the next one.